sitting outside my gym, avoiding going in because I really don't want to go today. I don't want to go. It's Saturday. Um, I have no desire. Well, that's wrong. I really don't want to go today. <laughs> I am feeling really, it's been kind of like a horrible day to be honest with you. Not terrible, but like, um, I'm feeling shitty today. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling tired. Uh, I was super nauseous this morning and I just wanted to stay at home and fucking browse TikTok. <laughs> but I know that that doesn't make me feel good. I know that doesn't actually do anything for me except like continue to dig out the hole I've been working on getting myself out of recently. But I'm here. That's what matters. It's gonna walk on the treadmill. That's it. Uh, but I'm really having to kind of like, I've literally been sitting in the car for like 15 minutes trying to hype myself up to feel, I just like, oh, I hate this anxiety. I get this anxiety that just like sits sharp in my chest and it just oh, it makes me feel horrible. Fine. We're going to the gym. We're at the gym. I'm looking at the gym. All I need to do is like 20, 30 minutes. That's it. That's all I need to do to feel good. I know I will feel so much better if I do this. But I just need to do it. <laughs> I need to get over it. I just need to do it. <sighs> okay. I hate, I, I really hate when I get this anxiety, but whatever, we're doing it. I'm also filming a TikTok. Because when I feel anxiety, I cope through creating shit. So, behind the scenes. Okay, now I gotta do that again for you guys. See you in a sec. Died from the bed. I'm literally sitting here waiting for this person to leave. I'm lucky I have tinted windows. Why is my face so red? I don't like this today. Ah, okay. I need to get out. I just need to get out of the car and go. Okay, here we go. It's a big old world. So what did I miss? Okay, 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 okay. I'm glad I went, okay? <laughs> Do we see the sweat? What just happened? <laughs> um, so I went in, great workout. I'm really glad I went, just let me preface that. Let me preface that. Uh, yeah, I went in, <laughs> I was there. <sighs> I, okay, so every time I've come in to walk on my own, it's been uh, 20, maybe 30 minutes. But like I start clocking out like 25 minutes. I'm like, okay, time, time to go home, time to be done. And today at 15 minutes, I wanted to stop so, so badly to the point that like I stopped recording. Um, 
I was like, I'm done, I'm ready to go home. I turned off the treadmill, I pressed end workout, almost stopped my workout on my watch. I was like, I'm done at 15 minutes. And there was this little, this little voice inside of me that was like, no, <laughs> no you're not, you could stay. You could push yourself, you could keep walking, you could keep going, you know you need to move your body. Uh, and I did, and I went for an hour um, at a like pretty high pace for me. Um, dripping sweat, I lost track of time. I was able to stop worrying so much about everything around me and just be present and be in the moment and feel all the like frustration and the anxiety that I've been feeling work way out almost like envisioning it working its way out through the sweat um and the breath and everything because I was pretty out of breath the entire time but I didn't stop because I didn't want to like there was that part of me that like I don't know if it's hope or drive or determination but I feel like I broke through a lot of internal barriers that I've been holding myself back with I'm a big believer through my you know weight loss journey and everything else I've experienced that like sometimes I want to reach these milestones in my head um, a lot quicker than I meant to and a lot quicker than I'm ready to and as long as I keep putting in the work and doing what I feel like is right um, and what feels well it hurts it hurts because it's not that it feels good um, but what I guess feels right or whatever I don't know um, I know that I will break through those barriers and reach those milestones when my body is ready and I feel like I've kind of been on the verge of this like next, it's like this next, um, it's like a next, like next cog in the gear or, uh, I don't know, next chapter in the book, whatever you want to call it of my like fitness and my health journey. And I was able to like shed a lot of, and I'm sure it for sure could come back, but this internal fight that I feel about moving um, and this fear and this hesitation and this desire to not want to move my body. I've been stagnant and I've been stuck for so long that um, moving and being present and being part of the world and taking up space feels so unnatural and I'm finally connecting with that part of me where it feels natural and where I feel like I no longer have to apologize for just being. Then move to a point where I don't give a fuck, <laughs> essentially. That's where I'm trying to get myself. And I got a lot closer to that today. I got there today. <laughs> I just walked for an hour on the treadmill. Thank you.